going, I keep smiling, I keep doing my thing Before my life is over, every moment fade away I keep going, I keep smiling, I keep doing my thing Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you an eye look using one of the palettes that I pulled out when I was shopping my stash. And that is the Meat Matrimony palette by The Balm. Um, I commented on that video that probably should be up before this one that I have three of these all matte palettes by The Balm and that they're really wonderful, um, really good texture, really good formula, and yet I can't seem to reach for them um, even though I know they're really quality great shadows and I also really enjoy a good matte look from time to time so um, I'm gonna put it to the test today I'm gonna figure out a way to use it and we'll see what happens <laughs> so if you'd like to see what I come up with please keep watching I already have all my foundational work done and I have my eyes primed with painterly paint pot and set with a uh, wet and wild creme brulee and so I'm just going to grab my Ordinary Beginning BH Cosmetics Blender, which looks like that. And I'm going to go into Matte Lynn, which is this peachy shade that's really light. It may not show at all, um, but I'm kind of wanting to go from light to dark and maybe just have kind of a burgundy mauve look. We're going to see how these perform together and how they add up and blend out and all that jazz. So going to start off really light and chances are this one isn't going to show at all but I'm going to go for it anyway I keep going I keep smiling I keep doing my thing before my life is over every moment fade away I keep going I keep smiling I keep doing my things before my life is over and my chances this actually would have been a perfect color to set my um primer down with if I had looked at a little bit closer before going in it's it's really not showing because it's matching up with what I already have there so but I am gonna load my brush with more of this so that whenever I need to blend further I will have that little excess bit on my brush I find those matching my skin tone colors end up being really good um, for blending and stuff like that <laughs> I'm going to move my camera down a bit, make sure we're all in frame. <laughs> all right, I'm going to go in with Matt Thomas, which is this pink shade right here. And I'm using the Morphe R37. I'm going to put this in the upper part of my crease. And this isn't showing much, but it's a little deeper. I probably could have skipped it. I keep going, I keep smiling, I keep doing my thing before my life is over and my moment fade away. I keep going, I keep smiling, I keep doing my things before my life is over. I'm going to use the color switch. Um, and clean that brush and use that same brush to go into matte Rossi and I'm going to go into I'm going to dip into this very lightly because I'm not sure how dark this is going to be um, I may end up mixing those two if I want it a little warmer but let's see how it shows up I kind of like the way it is like perfectly matching my shirt. <laughs> I keep going, I keep smiling, I keep doing my thing before my life is over and my moment fade away. I keep going, I keep smiling, I keep doing my things before my life is over and my chance to take her away. All right, I'm gonna leave that a little bit on that brush for further blending later but I'm gonna go back with the beginning brush and just really make sure that's all blended out I, keep going, I, keep smiling, I, keep doing my thing. I don't feel like that really had much of an impact so there's a lot darker shades I'm a little bit scared of 
but this matte reed right here is an interesting shade because it looks like it's brown but it's got a plummy undertone so I think maybe I'll go in this with this one and maybe a mix of these two <gasps> I'm not sure this is an experiment right <laughs> okay I decided to get a denser brush uh, Coastal Sense BRC N06 and go back into Matt Rossi and try to build that color up a little bit more. I keep going, I keep smiling, I keep doing my thing Before my life is over, every moment fade away I keep going, I keep smiling, I keep doing my things I think it would have more of an impact if I hadn't gone in with um, so many light colors initially like if I would have gone in with this to begin with but you know I I have a feeling I'm gonna have a really vampy lip today a feeling <gasps> as in I cheated and looked at my advent calendar and so my eye look probably needs to be a little subdued so maybe I shouldn't be trying so hard to make it more dramatic <laughs> all right I was really being indecisive and wasn't sure what I was going to do, but I think I'm going to take this Makeup Geek Outer V brush and I think I'm going to go into Matte Kumar and Matte Moskowitz. <laughs> Just a little bit of each and tap it off and see what we can get for outer corner here. I keep smiling, I keep doing my thing Before my life is over, every moment fade away I keep going, I keep smiling, I keep doing my things Before my life... Hmm, I don't feel like this is doing much. I think I maybe need to use a different brush. I'm going to use my Coastal Scents BRC N51 and do the same thing and pat, these, pat this color on first. Yeah. I just felt like it wasn't depositing enough. I keep going, I keep smiling, I keep doing my thing Before my life is over, every moment fade away I keep going, I keep smiling, I keep doing my things Before my life is over and my chance to take her wings Searching for a mission, life's no competition It has no definition, no, no, no still working on getting that outer V how I want it, changing brushes to see which one is going to work the best. I'm going to go in with the Sigma E25 into those same colors and do a little of deposit and blend. I like what that's doing, yep. I'm going to blend with Matt. Rossi in the first brush that we use for the crease. I keep going, I keep smiling, I keep doing my thing Before my life is over, every moment fade away I keep going, I keep smiling, I keep doing my thing Alright, now that I've done this and, you know, bear with me. I kind of go back and forth and use different brushes until I get the effect that I want. Um, I wanted that really blended out and um, I feel like I got it except for this side that's still bugging me but I'll get it fixed but 
as I'm doing this, I was thinking of doing an all matte look, but then as I was doing this, I thought of a color in another balm palette called Eat Your Heart Out, and I think it would look beautiful on the lid with this look. So I'm going to go grab it, and we're going to do that. Okay, so I got the name of the palette wrong. The palette is actually called The Balm Appetit, and inside it has these cutouts that says Eat Your Heart Out. So that's where I got that from. But the shade is... Ruby, oh goodness, here we go again with these tiny letters that I can barely read. Oh good lord, you guys. Rocky Road Ice Cream is this one. And Tate R. Tot is this one. I'm thinking about putting the darker one across my whole lid and then this one in the center of it. So that's what I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna use my finger. I don't know if I wanna go that dark on my lid. Ugh, I can't decide. I'm thinking I'm just going to go just with that because I have, like, all the looks that I've done lately have been really dark lids, and I am in the mood for a light lid. This shirt keeps moving to weird spots, so don't look at it. <laughs> I guess it's pretty subtle and now I'm so spoiled on it just being you know super metallic that when it's subtle I feel like I need to do more but today I think I'm just gonna be satisfied with this and don't worry about any glitter glue or anything like this because it'll be pretty and soft you know I don't have to go full-on glam every day and I'm going to church today so it would probably be a better choice for me to be a little bit more subtle for church, but that doesn't happen very often. I'm getting a shader brush. This one is front a no name, just to make sure I really get it nice and opaque in everywhere I want it. But I think this is really pretty. Very girly. Very sherry. <laughs> that is okay with me. I'm going to go ahead and blend it out a little. And I think that's what we're going to go with. I do want to go ahead and do my lower lash line. This color is real similar to that other color, so since I have this here, I'm just gonna go ahead and use this. I'm gonna use my Morphe E36. And this shade is, if I can read it, Mac and Cheese. Oh my goodness. Very creative names indeed. I feel like I want to bring it down a little bit more. So I'm going to get a fluffier brush. This is a Makeup Geek small crease brush. This isn't as impactful. You know, it's crazy, and I think this might be what I'm experiencing. I think I might, like in the progression or the evolution of your makeup collection, you eventually, as you move up, usually in price, you get better and better products. And I think sometimes things that you thought were just incredible 
um, at the time that you first use them somehow kind of lose their impact as you find things that are even better. And I think that's what's happening here. I feel like I've been struggling the whole time to get the color payout that, that I'm accustomed to now. You know, makeup snob status. But anyway, um, I think I'm being a makeup snob about these because I don't think they're showing up like I want them to. Um, and, you know, that's the reason why I do the shopping my stash and that's the reason why things are kind of on the chopping block. Um, I do think that I would probably keep these regardless just because there are some very unique shades in here. Um, shades that you're probably not going to see elsewhere. Um, I'm going to combine those together and put it on the very outer half. I want more definition here and I wasn't getting it but anyway so I think that maybe that's what happens is that I, I remember being so impressed with these and I thought they were so great and at the time they were and they're not terrible I mean they're better obviously they're better than um, drugstore products or most drugstore products but I still feel like I had to take a long time to get all this built up and I get impatient and frustrated I guess but this is what my foundational part before I do any lashes and liner and all that stuff looks like and I think it's pretty um, I am gonna go ahead and curl my eyelashes put on mascara and put on some lashes off camera to save time and let me tell you what I'm going to use though I am going to use my Physician's Formula Eye Booster Pen for the eyeliner. Uh, of course, my pretty new little last year's uh, Tarte Eyelash Curler. Um, for my mascara, my lower lashes, I'm going to use, um, I always have to read it because I get it wrong, MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash for my lower lashes. And as prep for, for falsies, I'm going to use Too Faced Better Than Sex. I think the lashes I'm going to use today are called Grand Glamour and they're part of this three uh, three pack of Vegas Nay Eyelure lashes and they're these really funky chunky ones um, since it's kind of subtle you know I will find a way to glam it up somehow but I will be back with all that jazz on my face before I do that I forgot to highlight my brow bone. So I'm going to use this BH Cosmetics 102 Concealer Brush and this palette again in the shade is um, Bruschetta. Bruschetta. And I'm going to use my Ofra highlighter. Beverly Hills is the shade or shades. And I'm going to go into this really light gold champagne color for my inner corner highlight. So now I really will be back with all that jazz on my face. <laughs> all right, guys, so I'm back with everything on. This is the finished eye look, a close up for you. These lashes are a little crazy, but I like them. They're like, <laughs> you, you, I just can't be subtle, apparently. If I have a subtle eyeshadow look, then I have banging lashes. But anyways, I think it's pretty and I really like it. So, I am going to go put on my lippy for my 24 days of lip, my vlogmas series that I've decided to do. And so, I'll go do that. So, I have a clip for that. And then I'll come back and show you what I look like with the lippy on and the whole shebang. Alright guys, so this was the vlogmas advent calendar lippy 
I don't think <laughs> it's okay. Actually, I think it does look kind of cool, but I think this is more suited for going out to a concert or out somewhere, not really church. So I think I'm going to have to take it off and put on something a little bit tamer. But I did take pictures and I did do a video so everybody will get to see what it looks like. But yeah, I think it's going to have to come off. So <laughs> anyways, I hope you like the eye look and all this together. I think it's pretty, but maybe not appropriate for church. But thank you so much for being here and I appreciate your time. You guys know that. I love you all very much. And I'm really excited because I have a lot of new subbies. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm so glad to have you. And I'm excited about you becoming part of this little community that we're building here. And um, if you have a channel, I would love to check it out. Put your link down in the description and I'll go check you out. Um, yeah, I'm all about s supporting people that are trying to get started just like me and um, just meeting new people that are as passionate about makeup as I am. So I guess I'm out of here for now. I need to do a little fixing, get myself to church. But um, again, thank you for being here and I will see you next time. Until then, take care and God bless. Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye, guys. I keep going, I keep smiling, I keep doing my thing. Before my life is over, every moment fade away. I keep going, I keep smiling, I keep doing my things. Before my life is over, and my chance to take her wings.